Well, the snow is falling this morning. Many spots reporting from about a dusting to two inches of snow. Just a report from Warwick, Rhode Island of two inches. Let's take you to a time lapse first from Kingston, the URI campus. You can see the snow flying overnight and it continues to fly into this morning. Now on live pinpoint Doppler 12, notice how the blue represents where the snow is. Where the blue is slightly darker, that's where the slightly heavier bands are. So you can see a good part of Providence County seeing those moderate to heavy snow bands. Same story out here in a central Kent County, South County. Now as we go into eastern Massachusetts, notice how the colors become a little lighter, indicating that the bands of snow are a little bit uh, less here. In fact, here in Fall River, where Walt Buteau is, the uh, bands of snow not quite as heavy, and it doesn't sound like it's sticking a whole lot there at this point. Overall, this is a light to moderate snow event, nothing like what we saw uh, last weekend, which is good news. We don't need to be shoveling away any more snow. Some of us will have to get the shovels out, though. And as we look at Providence right now, you can see the snow is falling. Temperature in Providence, 22. Gloucester, we're at 19. Newport at 21 degrees. In fact, we can check on these uh, wind speeds here in Newport. You can see right now they're out of the northwest at 25 miles an hour. Wind chill is at 4. And that's another thing we don't want to downplay with this forecast is the wind. The wind actually stays strong this morning this afternoon and even into tonight. So some isolated power outages are possible. Now this is still a very tricky storm. Here's why. Notice this trail of blue indicating that at least several more hours of snow are on the way, but notice this area of clearing over central Connecticut. This will push through our area. As that happens, the storm will strengthen, but that's the thing about the storm. As it strengthens, it gets further away. So that's why coming up in just a few minutes, you will notice kind of a big range in my accumulation forecast. Still uh, some details to iron out. But most of us will expect at least a few inches. And those roads, especially the side roads in Providence, uh, down into northern Rhode Island, even into portions of Kent County, the roads aren't great right now, especially on the side roads. So just use some caution or stay and watch eyewitness news for the entire morning. Sit back with a cup of coffee and just kind of ride out the snow. Let's look at our uh, future cast here. Eight o'clock in the morning, still some pockets of heavy snow flying, especially here in eastern Massachusetts. 10 o'clock, the potential of some moderate to heavy snow is still here. As we go into the late morning and early afternoon, notice how the bulk of the precipitation pushes away, but still the wind will be going, so we'll still see some of that blowing and drifting snow. Here is that uh, updated accumulation forecast. I have four to seven inches of snow. Now keep in mind, some spots already having two inches of snow on the ground right now. So that means that across a good portion of our area, just an additional two inches from what you're seeing right now. If the storm strengthens a little bit more and stays a little closer, that's where we add several more inches of snow. And that's why some isolated spots will get closer to the seven inch mark. But I think a lot of us will be closer to that four or five inch range. As we look at our uh, wind speeds, you can see as we go into the afternoon, look at these gusts. You can see between 45 and 50 miles an hour strongest here at the uh, coast, New Bedford, a gust of around 45 miles an hour, 3 o'clock in the afternoon. And as we go overnight, the winds don't really let up. That's because at this point, that storm will strengthen. You can see out here on the Outer Cape, winds still close to uh, around 50 miles an hour with the wind gusts. Not quite as strong here in Providence through Smithfield, but still around 40 miles an hour, nothing to sneeze at. And as we go into your President's Day, the wind will continue. In fact, I want to detail the uh, President's Day forecast briefly, since a lot of you have that day off tomorrow. And we are talking about uh, wind chills between about uh, zero and five degrees in the morning. Then as we get into the afternoon, we'll see uh, wind chills staying in the teens and just low 20. So that is one important thing to point out for tomorrow. Another uh, rain snow mix possible on Tuesday. Could be another uh, storm developing next Friday into Saturday. But you know what? Too early to talk about that thing for next weekend. Let's focus on one snow event at a time. We're so, in the middle of this one. Yeah, we are. We are. So we'll just focus on this one. Of course, WPRI.com, the place to go. We have uh, updates on our blog and also on our weather discussion. It'll be fun to check in with Walt each half hour as yeah. he lets us know those snow totals start to add up a little bit. Yeah, it's good that he's out there. He's definitely in a place right now where the snow hasn't been quite as heavy. So that's why we like to cover all the regions here. Some spots seeing heavy snow right now, others not so much. Yeah. All right, thank you very much, Pete. Yep. Well, your time right now is 621. Still to come on Eyewitness News. The cleanup is underway in Russia after a massive meteor.